Hello everyone, today we are going to start pharmacology and we are going to talk about antibiotics. So among the antibiotics we are going to talk about the penicillins. We are going to talk about the penicillins. So we have a large number of uh, examples of penicillins but good so kind they are all functioning uh, in the same manner or to say they are having the same mechanism of action so their mechanism of action we are going to be starting with the mechanism of actions the most important mechanism of action of penicillin is when the penicillin bind with a protein called the penicillin binding protein also known as the PBP so this penicillin binding protein it is there in the cell wall of the bacteria and the penicillins go and interact with this PBP then inhibiting an enzyme known as the transpeptidase enzyme So by inhibiting this transpeptidase en enzyme, the transpeptidation that is involved in the cross-linking of, uh, of the proteins for in the final stage of cell wall synthesis is inhibited. So no cell wall, then the bacteria will be filled with water and then burst. So that's why the penicillins are also known as bactericidal because they kill the bacteria. So now we are going to see the subgroups or the examples of the penicillins. Number one, we have narrow spectrum. penicillins so the narrow spectrum penicillins are the most common one that we already know we have number one the penicillin G and penicillin V so these are the most important uh, examples of the narrow spectrum penicillins so these penicillins act against the, strep uh, the streptococcus, the streptococci, meningococci, pneumococci, and the most important one, the trypanema pallidum. The bacteria that is causing syphilis. So these narrow spectrum penicillins they act against these organisms. So again we are having number two we have the very narrow spectrum penicillins. So the very narrow spectrum penicillins examples are the methicillin, methicillin, nephicillin. So these are the examples of the very narrow spectrum penicillins. So they are very narrow because they only work against the staphylococcus. aureus so we have the next one we have the broad spectrum penicillins so the broad spectrum penicillins 
examples are the most important ones are the amoxicillin and the ampicillin ampicillins so they work against from the word broad spectrum they work against many uh, bacteria number one they work against listeria monosaturidin from the word ampicillin then just remember the ampicillin listeria again we have hemophilus influenza again we are having the h pylori the h pylori mostly is sensitive to most important is the amoxicillin then borrelia burgdorferi the one that is causing the lyme disease so number four then we have the extended spectrum penicillins so the extended spectrum most importantly we have the pi paracillin and we have the tiger slim these work against most of the gram negative rod including the C. dominus aeruginosa so these are the uh, subgroups of the penicillins we have the narrow we have the very narrow we have the broad spectrum we have the extended spectrum so now we are going to see the mechanism of resistance because some bacteria develop the resistant to these penicillins so the mechanism of resistance Some bacteria produces an enzyme this is the most important uh, mechanism of resistance they produce a protein called beta lactamases also known as the penicillinase so this penicillinase will break the beta lactam ring in the drug so just when the drug is break to break the broken down then the drug can no longer function so the example of the bacteria that produces beta lactamase are uh, most importantly the staph aureus because these are the naughty ones some they change the structural uh, function of the penicillin binding protein so when the penicillin binding protein is changed then the penicillin can no longer uh, recognize it and bind it so the function of penicillin is altered the example of this are uh, methicillin resistance staphylococcus aureus also known as the MRSA while some they actually change the porin structure of the porin channel through which the penicillin enters the bacterial cell so the most example most important example is the pseudomonas aeruginosa they develop the resistance against penicillin by uh, changing the structural function of this pore so now we are going to see the pharmacokinetics most importantly almost all the penicillins are water soluble so this means they are excreted by the kidney so this means anyone who is having kidney function kidney, kidney function uh, deterioration or kidney dysfunction so the dose of penicillin has to be reduced and also a drug called probenicid 
inhibit or decrease the excretion of these drugs. But among the penicillin, we have two important uh, penicillins. We have the denapacillin and the oxacillin. These are the only penicillin that are excreted in the bile rather, rather than the kidney. So now we are going to see the, because this a board question exam. Now we are going to see the side effect of the penicillin. The most important side effect of the penicillin is hypersensitivity reaction. So the hypersensitivity reaction is the most important side effect, which is can be characterized maybe type one, type two, type three, or delayed type, which is also known as a type four. Each of the following, uh, each of the above mentioned uh, hypersensitivity reaction can be developed by the body in some patient. So if you try a, a kind of penicillin to a patient and develop one of the following hypersensitivity reaction. So this means all the uh, drugs that are found in the classes of the penicillins has to be avoided. The second one is the GI disturbance. But most, this most importantly is encountered with the uh, broad spectrum, especially the amoxicillin or ampicillin, because they kill the GI flora GI normal flora and as we have already known that the GI normal flora they participate in the digestion of our food thus if the GI normal flora are killed then the food will end up undigested so if the food is undigested then the person will be complaining of GI distress so this is the most important uh, not to know about the penicillins so thank you